Hi, good morning everybody. I'm doing this room risk management. I got a square quest in the channel that uh, some people ask for it. Please support the channel guys, like videos and subscribe it help the channel because I see many people that are watching but even press like it's not, I'm not doing it. It's just sometimes I just think some support is good. Okay, let's start. Risk management, learn about framing, assessing, responding and monitoring. This room has a bit of math and I got asked to to help on it, especially in this tax, uh, the last task. But in any case, let's go through this one uh, very quickly. Uh, this is about risk management, so I'm not talk about the risk of spending coffee and things and how you do the insurance and if you do anything uh, on that, you guys, you can read. So. So basically, for example, if you decide to carry an extra laptop in your, if your main laptop fail, the second laptop will be ready. What would you call this responsible risk? Uh, what we call this risk? Uh, you re reduce your risk by having the second laptop. That's what what it is. The second laptop is for. Now, you think your laptop. Uh, has has never failed before and the chances of failing now are too slim so you decide not to take if you're not taking action the same in life for instance just you accept your risk so you say you know what is not worth it pay, paying for that insurance because uh, it's 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 very less that things that that can happen now we go to the normal uh, terminology what is a threat uh, threat is a potential harm or danger. Then we have what is a variability is a weakness in the system and asset, whatever we have, laptop, computer, desk, and things like that, hardware, software. A risk is the probability of a threat source exploiting an, ex, uh, an existing variability. Risk management, and then okay, what we what do you call the potential? for a loss or an incident that may harm the confidential integrity or availability of an organization information asset we call it this is a risk or threat no it's a risk what do you call a weakness and uh, 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 you call a weakness an attacker could exploit uh, an attacker could exploit a vulnerability that's what we have the weakness now, what do you consider a business laptop? A business laptop is an asset. Uh, yeah, it's an, uh, this one. This one, you have an asset there. So it's an asset. Ransomware will become a, a lucrative business. From the perspective of legal business, how do you classify a ransomware group? Uh, ransomware, we call it a threat. I think so. Uh, what else we can call them. And then we have a risk assessment methodology. We have a different framework. We have the NIST SP830 is a risk in, uh, assessment methodology. We have this. We have the Octave. We have the FMA. The question, of course, frame risk. The based on MPs, this is a question about the NIST. This is the NIST 30. Frame risk, assess risk, respond to risk, then frame risk, frame, risk frame, what's your assumption, constraint, and then tolerance and priorities. Example, scenario, risk assessment, risk constraint, risk tolerance, priority, guys, I'm doing the, I'm going straight to the lab part. Assess risk, threat, vulnerability, impact, likelihood, threat, example, you can read about it, so I'm just going to quickly, here's the part, qualitative risk analysis, probability of risk taking place, and then we have this, single loss expectation, that's where the math starts becoming, uh, so the single loss expectancy is the asset value, exposure factor, the percentage of loss, realized threat can cause an asset. Now what I did <coughs> here is like I <coughs> I did my uh, did the math here. So we have the asset the risk asset value exposure and so for example I can show you here. For example in this example we have uh, his laptop is ten thousand I have uh, the exposure ninety percent, so I have that one. We need it next to on. Uh, 
so you get the 9000 that is this uh, example and then the loose expenses is your IRO the IRO has is 90% I have it here No. Uh, no. And then we have uh, the ninety percent is the FF. So it's what they have here. Then you have the zero five percent IRO. IRO. What is the IRO? Uh, annual rate uh, occurrences. So we have it here. It's a zero thirty five. So we have uh, nine thousand. Uh, so before this is the full calculation with the assets. So I, I put them in Excel sheet. So for example, in this example, the four five is this one. Now, if we continue now this room, his example is continue to say uh, we got the offer five. Then let's calculate the IRA after the safeguard is uh, is added. So our IRO after safeguard this is a little matter here guys so I did all of this inside you can see now 120 180 if I go here in my example this is the cost of safeguard then this is the four twenty four thousand two hundred dollar the value of safeguard so I put them all in Excel you can see now the math is here all the math of this value so I made them automatic for the the, the things so if I if I go now to, uh, so if I go to this example let's proceed now I put them all of them here so let's let me let me put it so you can see it this is for the first example this is the laptop theft outside the office uh, no this one Fa uh, the, uh, no, laptop theft from the office theft from office yeah, this example is a 2000 no is a 2000 laptop that's the asset value the EFF factor is 100 percent EFF after is zero the IRO is zero one before and because it doesn't give us the th so it's the same zero one so we're doing this example uh, safeguard is fifty dollar. That's the fifty dollar value. Now we have the value of safeguard is one fifty. So it's positive. So we can implement the safeguard here. The next one is a smartphone. So we don't waste time. It's a, a one asset one. It's like the, 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 the question changed for whatever reason. I did it, I just did the example now and it was not thousand rent. Uh, let me change it to thousand. EFF uh, hundred percent uh, EFF after safeguard is one one percent IRO is 0 0.5 let's try that one uh, so let me put 0 0.5 here now we are in this column so laptop uh, this is uh, 1000 uh, let me show it's 100% 1 and then we need to add the safe the cost of the safeguard is a twenty dollars so let's we put twenty dollar here yeah the example it changed uh, so the value is for seventy so we let's make sure we did so this twenty dollar thousand hundred percent and one after one percent after the IRO is zero percent EFF hundred percent so the value is positive so basically we implement safeguard now let's do the next one laptop fall I did this now it's two thousand dollar 
if a 50 percent after is 10 percent IRO is 20 uh, 0 0.25 percent uh, the cost is 1 5 it's negative so we decline you know you see the value is negative so I decline this then I got the flag so it's in my math is correct I hope my math is fine but at least I'm getting the solution Mo monitor change compliance monitoring effective uh, effective monitoring um, uh, what is this um, finding and adding your risk limit your risk that no longer relevant assessing our response okay you guys can read then you want to confirm whether the new policy enforcing lot of disk encryption is helping mitigating data breach risk what is the all monitor in this case uh, if I'm not mistaken it's about effectiveness we see if things are effective so then we are we are keeping an eye on the new reg regulation. Uh, regulation says the compliance directly. So there is a now that's the one bit confused. Uh, this one, which is this? Risk as supply chain risk management. Risk associated with hardware, with software and services. This is very important because a lot of cyber attack. Computer uh, example scenario printers hardware. Guys, you can read as I said. Let's do this part of a, a bit confusing. Let's see. First of all, the laptop. If I go to my math, if things are well, theft from office, it's a 2.5. Uh, IRO is 100%. After is 6%. So we go in here. The IRO is zero, 0, also zero 0.5 because it's not changing before and after. So we're talking about this. And we can get the 2.5 that you're playing because automatic calculated my side. Then $45 is the cost of the safeguard. And then it's positive. So value of the safeguard is positive. <laughs> Uh, for example guys if you get confused you can ask ChatGPT for example you can see I will give you some values decide if to implement safeguard or reject for example, now I can set him, let's say, copy this, without telling him the formula, he can, he can think about it. Let him, uh, let him think for now. So, in my, in my calculation is positive, we should apply it. So, let's watch how it be yet. You see, he's doing his own math. Consider the cost of the SA card is 45. It appears that implementing the top lock and security is cost effective. So he said yes. So both calculations said yes. So he said approve control. So if I go to this screen now, workstation disk failure it costs 3000. We have a 70%. We have a zero at the end. We have a 0 0.2 error. We can get this two one the same as is calculated. The cost is two hundred dollar. It's positive, so we should approve this. You can ask ChatGPT two and say what you think about it. So it's positive, so we should approve it. Approve control. Now we have the phones. Smartphone in the theft, they call no, the, the asset value change. Smartphone 150, 100%, uh, theft 100%, then uh, EFF of the safeguard is 40%. 
the IRO is 0 0.35 So, so make sure is one two fifty is hundred percent. Then we have forty percent. We it's one two fifty as yes. The cost of uh, safeguard is ten dollar. So we should apply it. It's positive. Let's ask our friend. So as I said before we can implement so the first one we did before let's say if, if he do the same as mine so the smartphone yes we need to do it let's see what uh, it's reasonable to implement the safeguards so we can approve control now let's see this door office Intrusion and theft is 20,000, we have 100% and then we have 15%. IRO is 0, 01, so this one didn't change. And then we have uh, the cost of safeguard is 750, so it's positive, we should do it. So let's ask ShaGP what he said. I would say approve this control then we have this uh, we can continue with charge GTBT. this is wake station screen failure it's a 3000 you have 10 percent you have zero percent IRO 005 the cost is 250 so we should re because it's negative we should reject this one Let's see if, if ShaGDP agree with us or not. He said it may not be a reasonable decision, so basically we can reject this one. Now the laptop, theft outside office is a 2-5, we have 24% uh, after, they have a 0-2 in IRO, so if we do the math, it's uh, the safeguard is $75, is positive, we have 3-0-5, so we prove control here. The malware workstation is a 3000, we have an 85%, we have a 5% after, we have a 0.35 IRO, we have the cost is $75 for the safeguards of positive, we have 760 positive, so we approve the control and we get the flag. So guys, this is a quick way to do it, so... Is, uh, okay see thank you guys for watching be like please like and share uh, like the videos and subscribe if you're not it helped my channel so and have a good day and enjoy thank you very much